You know, I don't think I've made a video quite as appropriate as this to start off by saying, what's up gamers? I hope you guys are all having a great day today, just full of so much positivity and happiness, dude. Because at the time of making this video, it turns out that this whole situation did have a happy ending, but I still wanna talk about it because it just goes to show you that no matter how much you white knight or love a company, they will never love you back and they will treat you like the dirt under their shoe at every given opportunity and try to screw you over as much as they possibly can in their desperation to try and cover up something that either got out early or got out by accident. And this is the perfect example, in my opinion, where Dreamcast Guy made a positive video basically hyping up everyone for God of War Ragnarok, not even showing the leaks for the gameplay, just saying that it looked incredible and Sony still tried to strike down his YouTube video. And it just goes to show you, man, these companies do not care about you whatsoever. Ever. Even if you're saying the most positive thing when they are trying to save their own ass, everybody gets thrown under the bus. And I think this situation perfectly exemplifies that. Now, this may remind you of a very familiar situation back in 2020 with everyone's favorite leak in the video game industry, the infamous Joel in One. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. <gasps> Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop. Please don't shoot. Joel, please get up. And if we rewind back to that, Sony was literally striking down any video from anyone that even remotely talked about the leaks surrounding The Last of Us Part 2. Not even if you showed the gameplay, screenshots, or whatever. If you had the audacity to even discuss the fact that this game leaked, they tried to strike down your YouTube video, which is a blatant abuse of the YouTube copyright system, which eventually they had to reverse all the strikes, but it was in their desperate attempt to try and cover this entire thing up, which only drew more attention to it in the long run because, you know, all of a sudden when every single prominent YouTuber's videos covering a leak on an extremely prominent game goes down and they're all forced to make videos explaining why, it just directs even more attention to the leaks in the first place. It's the fucking Streisand effect and Sony's just too fucking stupid to realize that shit. So this is another case of that exactly where people have been posting early gameplay footage of God of War Ragnarok on YouTube because somehow early copies of the games have gone out there, apparently like local game stores have broken the street date and have sold the copies early or they've got stolen or whatever. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing is here is people have got the game, they're playing it early and posting gameplay online, which contains spoilers, which Sony does not want to be out there because it may affect people's purchasing decision of the game. I don't really understand it personally. If anything, this is kind of nice to actually get gameplay for God of War Ragnarok because the game comes out in like a week and Sony has literally only shown like two minute gameplay snippets. I don't know why why they're like so hesitant to show off like an actual gameplay demo of this game. I remember when God of War 2018 came out, I think two years before the game even released, they showed like a 10 minute long gameplay demo of the game. But with God of War Ragnarok, they've literally held their cards like so close to their chest and they don't want to show anything that they absolutely don't have to of this game. It's just been like cinematic trailer after cinematic trailer. And you know, now that actual gameplay is leaking on the internet, they are desperate to hide that shit. Now, I will say as somebody who did watch the leaks. Oh no, Sony, don't strike down my YouTube video as well. I'm talking about the leaks. The Thor fight looked pretty lame. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the boss fights in this game are kind of like a bootleg, block and dodge, Dark Souls clone. They don't have that same, you know, just spectacle and, like, awe factor that the old God of War boss fights had. Like, you know, just for example, God of War 2018, that was my biggest complaint with the game. The boss fights were so toned down from the previous games. They were kind of boring, in all honesty, and you fought the same boss like over and fucking over again but i mean just look at the difference here okay
aliens here must be better than this. And while the Thor fight that I saw is basically the same block and dodge simulator for 10 minutes that we got in God of War 2018, it just, it doesn't feel like a God of War game to me, and I can maybe understand why Sony didn't want this getting out, because it makes the Thor fight look really lame, and honestly not really anything anyone's gonna remember past a month, but there's an explanation for that I feel like, and maybe, I don't really want to say too much, because I don't want to spoil it for people who have not seen the leak, so I won't say anything, let's just say, I hope that is not the pain pacing and tone that every boss fight in this game has because I feel like it's going to be another God of War 2018 situation where the boss fights are just really generic and unmemorable and you'll just kind of be left thinking damn man I wish these boss fights were like the ones in God of War 3. But anyway getting back to the topic at hand bro Dreamcast guy released a YouTube video titled Sony removed my video about God of War Ragnarok and well we'll let him go ahead and explain what happened. Hey there guys, so I am currently just incredibly stressed because honestly, I don't know what to do. Sony and the PlayStation branch of the company have taken down one of my videos and uh, I mean, I really don't exactly know how to proceed. I think they were in the wrong and I want to explain why and show all the details and stuff, but also I'm a little bit afraid to fight back because it's freaking Sony and they could just I don't know, blow me up. I mean, I mean, literally, I don't know what's about to happen, but let's discuss this. What's up, Gavers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a good day because my day sucks. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. So this weekend, actually just uh, uh, what two days ago, I did a video talking about the God of War Ragnarok gameplay leaks. Now, I want to make it incredibly clear. I showed nothing in this video. The only thing I showed in this entire eight minute video I filmed was a picture of God of War Ragnarok's box art. I showed zero clips. I didn't show a single bit. Like legally, I don't think they have the right to do what they did here, but I, I'm not exactly certain what to do. And I can attest, man, we watched his video on stream. There was no gameplay footage. He didn't show screenshots. Literally nothing from the leaks was in his YouTube video whatsoever. So Sony had zero grounds to strike this video down. And they still wanted to do it because it probably had God of War leaks in the title. And, you know, them in their desperation and just honestly not giving a fuck about anything decided, hey, we're going to strike down every video we can talking about this to try and damage control, which totally won't bring more attention to the situation at all, you know, because because that's how the internet works, right? I mean, keep in mind though, this is the same company that I think back in like 2016, they tried to copyright the phrase let's play so that they could copyright claim the entire genre on YouTube. So Sony and copyright abuse kind of goes hand in hand. We're talking about the motherfucking company that basically wrote the copyright policy on YouTube because of their ties to the music industry and movie industry. So, you know, Sony is a big fan of blatantly abusing the copyright system, striking people's videos down, blocking them, claiming them. It's basically their fucking hobby at this point. So is it surprising that it happened? Honestly, no, because it's Sony and the way YouTube functions is basically companies can claim and strike down as many videos as they want with zero repercussions. So why the fuck wouldn't they, man? Because, you know, Sony obviously has the gamer's best interest at heart. So, you know, they would never act as a bad actor in a situation like this. But I don't know, man. This entire situation is just very nostalgic. It reminds me of that wonderful era surrounding the fucking Joel and one and Abby Zilla leaks, but this entire situation did have a good ending. You know, we got a happier ending than what you could expect at a Thai massage parlor. And Dreamcast guy actually put out a tweet stating, Sony undid the strike of my God of War video and it's now back up. Thanks for the support. And he got a message from Team YouTube basically saying that the copyright claim was taken away from his video, which, you know, I'm glad we got the good ending in this entire situation. 
Another happy landing. You know, it is kind of scary when you do have to go up against these big corporations and dispute copyright issues like this because you really don't know if these motherfuckers are actually going to throw lawyers at you because you could be 100% right in the situation, but you still have to take yourself to court if they decide to fucking sue you, which can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars in some cases. And, you know, if a company's feeling extra petty on whatever day, they may decide, fuck it, man, we got all these lawyers on payroll anyway. We're going to ruin this motherfucker's life and bankrupt them. So, you know, the dream guy's credit, I 100% understand being kind of freaked out by a situation like this, because when you're going up against a company like Sony, you really don't know what the fuck's gonna happen, because you could 100% have the law on your side, but they could basically bankrupt you in legal fees, trying to defend yourself, even if you are correct in the situation, which is kind of the fucked up part, but I don't know, man, I'm glad that overall this entire situation worked itself out, and I'm glad we actually got to see some gameplay of God of War Ragnarok finally, you know, the reviews are coming out in a few days, so that'll be cool to see how the game is, I guess, stacking up against the previous one. I'm just praying to the fucking God of War, Kratos himself, that the boss fights in this game are more in line with God of War 3, but if from what the leaks showed, that is probably not going to be the case, which is kind of disappointing. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on this entire situation in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the God of War leaks, if you did watch them. Are you excited for God of War Ragnarok? Make sure to drop that shit down in the comment section below, and if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I do want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well. You guys are the fucking best and I really do appreciate it. So with that shit said, I will catch you guys next time. And make sure to do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming.